Welcome to another video, this one from the FAQ series NADP, the so-called Noise Abatement Departure Procedures. These procedures have been laid out by the International Civil Aviation Organization, ICAO for short, and has been also uh, implemented in the uh, EASA Ops, so the European side of operations, and also country regulations uh, may differ a little bit uh, from the ICAO recommendations. Two departure procedures have been um, established called NADP-1 or NADP-2 and uh, we'll start out having a look at NADP-1. Although NADP-2 has become the standard procedure and is used uh, most often. So with the NADP-1 uh, noise abatement departure procedure, you initially climb out at V2 plus 10 up to V2 plus 20 knots to a minimum height and I say height above the departure airport runway um, of 800 feet. I know that some operators uh, use 1,000 feet. Ours, for example, uses 1,500 feet. Doesn't matter. Um, Ikea just recommends uh, the lowest height should be 800 feet. However, you do still maintain the initial climb speed, so V2 plus 10 until V2 plus 20 knots, and then you continue climb up to 3,000 feet height and that is where the aircraft starts the acceleration phase and uh, will retract flaps and slats. This procedure is supposed to alleviate noise close to the aerodrome. The second procedure is uh, the NADP2 procedure and there you climb out initially with uh, V2 plus 10 knots, again maximum V2 plus 20 knots, to a minimum height of 800 feet and again, some operators choose 1,000 feet for simplification. And from there, thrust is reduced to climb power and the aircraft accelerates smoothly to a minimum speed um, of the uh, safe maneuvering speed for zero flaps plus 10 knots or plus 20 knots and uh, retracting the flaps and slats on schedule. When uh, the aircraft passes 3,000 feet, it accelerates to the en route climb speed. And this uh, procedure is uh, apparently alleviating noise uh, more distant from the aerodrome. Let's have a look at the vertical profiles of these two noise abatement departure procedures. The green line shows the NADP-1 procedure and the blue one the NADP-2. And from this vertical profile we can see that NADP-1 causes aircraft to gain height more quickly and so any uh, inhabitants, citizens closer to the airfield will have uh, less noise pollution. Whenever noise uh, is not a big concern at the airport, then NADP-2 is used. And uh, that really only means that you will be reaching your cruising level a little bit uh, quicker. And uh, that means it'll be a bit more fuel efficient. That's it. That's all there is to say about NDP-1 and NDP-2 departure procedures. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, stay safe everyone. Until the next video, see you soon. Happy landings.